Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a little pencil holder or color pencil holder, whatever you like to put in it. So you're going to need 14 little circles like that. You're going to need five squares, 32 rectangles, three small little rectangles, three and then 17 short rectangles. And you're going, and that's all you're going to need. And you're also going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, a six dot square, each side is six. So it's a square. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So first you're going to need the square. You're going to need two of the long rectangles. Put them like that. There should be half on it, half not on the sides too. And then keep doing that. And then on the side where you meet this, use a little square. And then do that, and a little square. Then keep doing that. And then if it falls off, just attach it back on. And then after this, it's going to be kind of easy. All you need is to get this super secured. And then you will, and then the easy part is where you just need to keep pressing on. And you need it to be secure so it wouldn't fall apart when you put anything in it. You can do it any pattern you want the color to be in. And then keep doing that. The color can be in any order, as I said before. And then once you think it's like, when you think it's like this, oh, I think I'm ready. Then you can put, find some things, find what you want to put in here, and then put it in to check if it's raw, if it fits. If it fits perfectly great, if say your pencil doesn't really fit in it, that that means you need it to be a little bit taller. And then when you meet it like this, you're gonna need two of these. And then put it like that. So I think when I'm done doing this layer, I think it might be already ready. So when I'm done with this layer, okay, I'm gonna put my color pencils in, or whatever you want to put in, and then it should look like that. If you don't think it's high enough, I personally, I don't think it's high enough. Then use the rest of your Legos and come and then put them down a little bit and then keep building. When you suddenly see you ran out and you are not done with one layer, then go get you can go get some more or you can take off the Legos that used to of that layer and put them back where you got them. Okay, so this is when you're already done. Now it's where the dots come in. The dots are just for decoration. You might already know what we're going to do. You could put it in any order, but I'm going to do it like a pet like just skipping one and then going to get these all on make sure that 
they're all on. And then go ahead and put them all on. Okay, good. When you're done, it should look like this. All of the sides should be already clear and then and then the bottoms like this if you don't have this you can either use two of the long rectangles that are flat too or you can just put it on a very big board like that and you could decorate around it and when you're done what you get to do is it's when you get to go ahead and put it in, put everything in, and then just enjoy having it. When you still think it's like, it's definitely not good enough, like tall enough, um, you can just use more legos and get it more bigger and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel turn on that notification so you don't forget so you don't miss any of my new videos bye